Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be discussing another problem from our heap section. Let me show you the problem statement. I'll just quickly check if we are live yet. Yes, we are. Okay, so this is your problem statement for today. This is a very good question. It's also asked in Amazon's interview. Let me tell you what this problem is. So you are given a string, right? With repeated characters. Your task is to arrange characters in a string such that no two adjacent characters are the same. That means you do not want the same characters to be adjacent to each other. Let's take an example. And if such a string is possible, you just simply return. See, this will be your output. You just return the string which you will be creating. And your compiler, basically there is a code in the driver code section which will evaluate it to be one if such a if you return any string and if no such string is possible you simply return an empty string and it will evaluate to zero so let's first understand what we have to do here if you have a look for this let me show you via some example now okay so let's say i have a string like this a a b c b okay let's have a string like this let me make it like this a a b b c for example i have a string like this is it possible to form a string in which i do not get any similar characters adjacent to each other right now a is adjacent to a b is adjacent to b let's rearrange them such that we do not have similar characters near to each other so i can have a and let's put b now i can have a again i can have b again i can have c again this is one of the strings possible you don't have to find how many such strings are possible you just need to check if at least one of the strings is possible in which you're not getting any similar characters adjacent to each other in that case you just return that particular string now the question is how are we going to solve this problem so if i directly come up on the approach that we are going to use c one thing is that you can see here we might need some use of frequency map what does this mean we based on the characters and their frequency we are going to make certain decisions right so for for example before moving on the approach let me take another example in which no such strings no such string is possible for example i have a string triple a b okay let's try to create a string in which i do not have any a's adjacent to each other if i make it a b i will still be left with two a's there is no way possible this is just one string you can try other strings as well there will be no way in which i am going to get a string in which the uh, similar characters are not adjacent to each other so you will return an empty string in that case now so let's understand how are we going to do it First of all, if I talk about this example, let's say I have a map, frequency map, in which I have the frequencies of each character that I am going to have in my string, right? Okay. Now my target is that the characters which are appearing more than once, they shouldn't be put together. So let's say if I start up with A, I, I take a new string builder, okay? I am going with Java. So if I take a string builder in that, let's say I add a character A right if i add a character a i know i have recently used a so now to build the string i should not take a again at least for the next character right so for two things you're going to do when i am taking it i am going to obviously reduce its frequency and i have to also put some flag or right now i'm not telling you exactly what we are going to do i'm just trying to take you to the process that we might follow to understand this question okay so now I know that I have just recently used A, so I should not be using it again at least for the next character. So let's say I put a mark somehow, I make a, I make a point that I have the pair which I just used and obviously I have reduced its frequency as well. Now tell me how will you figure out that what next character I should use. I can go ahead with C also, I can go ahead with B also, but what would be the ideal thing to use? So let's take an example. Let's create a string if I take C. Let's say if I take C, okay, now C is no more. You are left with A and you will just have A now. The mark that I had on A will be no more valid, right? Because I just wanted A not to be next to A, right? So I just use C, so the mark will be kind of 
on C that I should not use it again and already its frequency is 0. Now I just have A and B. For example, if I take A again, okay, if I take A again, I will be left with no A's but two B's and eventually B, B will be together. So this is not a valid string, right? Or what else, let's say I already used, I was here when I already used C, right? I used A. Let's instead of A, I can do one more thing which is that um, A was how many? A was only 1 that time and B is 2. So let's say I take B again, okay? And I put a mark that I can't use B again. I got one A and I can use B. So this is also one valid string. But what I wanted to show you was that in the, pre uh, in the previous example in which I just simply exhausted my C and I was left with AB, I ended up with one string which was not valid. So the whole point is you just cannot randomly choose the characters to insert into your string builder. What you need to do here is that the ones, the characters which are having the highest frequency at that point in time should be exhausted first. Why I'm saying so, for example, if your string is just A, A, B, right now, right now you have this A, A, B, correct? A has frequency of 2, B has a frequency of 1. You are trying to create a new string. If you start with B, right, then you will be left with 2 A's. So this will be an invalid string, right? So you have to return a valid string, okay? So you might end up with a string which is invalid and invalid string will give your answer as 0. So this can be, take, can be taken care of, this should be taken care of by making sure that the characters which are occurring most in the frequency at that point in time should be exhausted first, right? So that I do not end up with certain string in which I have to ultimately bind two similar characters together, right? So first thing first is I want to make use, I want to exhaust characters having max frequency at that point, right? Second thing is that you have to, you need to put a check then second thing is that you need to put a check that which character you just recently used put a check or anything not a check actually you have to just keep track of the track the recently used track recently used character right okay so these are two important things. So if I talk about this first point, this point can be taken care if I make use of a max heap. That's where this max heap comes into our use. So let's understand it from this example only, double A, double B, C. Let's have a look. So this is a little lengthy question, but very fundamental and conceptual. Okay, so stay till the end, you will understand double A double b c for example this was your string okay right now i have a map with me which has the frequency of each character now i'll create a max heap right so max heaps priority will be so this priority queue basically i'll go ahead with priority queue right which will be of type max heap okay priority queue of type max heap in which i will be storing a pair pair in such a way pair will be let me tell you the we will create a pair and pair will contain your character and its frequency right fine and you can easily get this from the map that you will be creating okay now this priority queue is of pair type so what i'm going to have and this is of type max heap so basically my priority queue will look something like this this i'm creating a box like this but just understand that at the top of your priority queue, you are going to have a pair in which the character has the maximum frequency. So for example, A2, this is going to be at the top, then probably B2, any, any out of A and B can be at the top, that's not the issue. And then I'll have C1, right? So if I talk about the current situation of my PQ, this is how it's going to, going to look like. Let's start creating a string. So I, I create a string builder in which first I initially, let's say I go ahead with what is present at the top of my priority queue. So first I will hold this priority queue. What is, let's say I create, take one variable hold. 
and I will have the top of my priority queue. I'll remove it from my priority queue in my hold with one frequency less because that tells me I've just consumed this character and its frequency has become one less than what was earlier. So I just removed it from my priority queue so that I know I have recently used this that will be present in a variable named as hold. So hold right now has this pair and my string builder right now contains A. Now I'll go ahead and ask my priority queue, okay, tell me what what is present at the top of your queue right now so hold i can hold tells me that this is the character you just used this is the variable i'm going to use right now my priority queue has b at the top of it so first thing first i will insert this b into my string builder then my hold let's take another variable temp you can say or any other variable whatever variable just so that you know now a this pair is now free to go into your priority queue again because now you have already inserted one character so they will not be adjacent so basically your hold will have the top of the priority queue with one frequency less so hold now contains b and the frequency one and what was present in hold gets back to, goes into temp that tells me that now this very this pair is ready to be used again so if it is ready to be used again i will insert it back into my priority queue so if i insert it back into my priority queue right now my priority queue will be that b and 2 has this pair has been removed a2 was already removed but it is ready to get back into my priority queue with frequency 1 so if the frequency is 1 out of a and c anybody can be on the top so now this is the current state of my string builder I'll go and ask priority queue what is at the top of my priority queue it says a so I can insert a right and whatever is it I will bring this a one pair back to hold and what was present in hold will go back to temp which is ready to go into priority queue so basically my b1 comes at temp and this a1 goes back to hold with one frequency less because I've just used it so now b1 this pair with character b and frequency 1 is ready to go inside my priority queue correct so b1 will come here and it tells me now my string i'll ask my string builder what is present at the top of my priority queue it says anything out of b and c you can means priority queue will have one of them so let's say it has b so i will insert b here now b1 is ready to go back to this way come out of the priority queue with one frequency less right so temp is empty right now and whatever is present in hold will go back to temp so let me bring b with one frequency less here and since you see frequency you have to make sure if your frequency is zero or obviously zero it goes to zero then there is no point of shifting it anywhere in your priority queue or somewhere else you just don't add it anywhere and that goes out of loop now you have b0 in your hold and now i'll ask there's nothing else to add into your priority queue only c1 is left you ask what is in my priority queue it says c add it add to it then c and one frequency less will go to hold basically you can overwrite it c and zero this is what is present since the frequency is zero right there you'll stop means stop the transition from hold to temp and back to priority queue so that's all about it the moment you get your priority queue empty that's where you have gotten the valid string that you're going to return if there is no such string possible you return an empty string also see this is a simple observation that triple a b you know that there is no string possible in which you can get a string but string having no a's together right so this is a very good observation that if you find any character greater than the length divided by 2 if your strings length is let's say 4 right so if any character occurs greater than this n divided by 2 that is 2 times you can see that clearly means if any character is greater than the half length of your string it is anyway going to get together at any point in time you cannot avoid them being adjacent right so you'll return empty string from there itself okay so that is about it guys let me know if you have any doubts you can ask me and let me show you the solution now so what i'll go through it although i'm sure that you must have understood by now but let me tell you what we have done here so when we talk about priority priority queue you know if i'm going by max heap i have to make sure that 
my pair class is going to have a character as i showed you right for example g and the count of g that will be stored in frequency right this is your constructor class next thing what we are doing here instead of using my lambda function in your priority queue what we have done we have compared your frequency on the basis of frequency we have applied this comparator function here itself so that whatever pairs are being added right they are added in such a way that any character whose frequency will be maximum will be present at the top of your priority queue that's we have, that part we have done in this pair class itself right comparator we have used here other thing could be you could simply use a, a lambda function in your priority queue while we are defi defining a priority queue you can do it here as well okay so this is your pair class you understood this thing now let's come to our hash map we uh, we are creating a hash map which is simply storing the characters and the count of it frequency you know the frequency map right so this is what we have done here we are going through every character if it is not present you insert one against it if it is already present then whatever is the frequency add one to it okay fine now this is your priority queue and i want it of type max heap as you see we have not done anything here just because i have applied my comparator function here so whatever will be the values that will be inserted into my priority queue that will be taken care in such a way i am okay i am taking these key value pairs from where from where these pairs from my hash map so this character k belonging to the, all the map contains character right so in your priority queue i am adding a new pair which is the character itself and what is the frequency of that character so we have already taken care of this here so the higher frequency one will be on the entire string which i will be returning this is your temp pair which initially we have used it like this which initially has a pair uh, in which character is just random hash and the frequency is zero now the loop is to check until your priority queue becomes the size of your priority queue becomes zero that's where you will be done with building your entire string got it okay let me just check are we dropping our little network issue maybe okay so as i told you we remove the top of our priority queue right and in your answer you will be appending what is this previous the character the pair that you just removed its character that will be added to your string builder okay and you have to make sure that again you do not use this previously at least just in the next iteration right so first of all you use this prev character reduce its frequency now your temp already has the character which is ready to be inserted into your priority queue only if its frequency is greater than 0 right if it's zero then there is no point you can anyway not use it as i told you so now temp is taking care of the characters that i was making here this was your temp right and this hold is actually relating to pref the pref that i have written here is analogous to the hold variable that i was trying to explain to you got it okay so now this temp is ready to get into your priority queue i added there it's ready to be used again now now what again you do that swapping thing your temp becomes prev i have already explained this is just a very simple thing just that we are removing the top of your priority queue adding it to your string and reducing its frequency adding it to your variable which is prev uh, adding it to your prev variable making sure that i don't use it immediately in the next iteration now whatever is present in your temp is ready to go inside your priority queue and the pref is ready to be now basically temp is ready to have your pair that is present in pref so that the next in the next iteration when you again remove from your priority queue your pref is empty that means you can insert that key value pair in your pref got it okay next last thing is that if your answer answer is what your string builder that we used here let me see. this was your answer if your string builder's length is exactly equal to the string length that means we have come up with a valid string you exactly return that and since you know we have to return string type and we have made it of type string builder so we convert it to string otherwise you return minus 1 that's all okay so that is all about this question guys hope you all understood this this is a very good question as i told you very fundamental it's a little lengthy but very fundamental okay so yeah that's all about today if you guys have no doubts i will just wrap it up okay 
so yeah thank you everyone bye bye and take care